a lot to live up to but you know what even if we don't the series will do it for us what a game Fnatic have just come off the back of getting revenge on liquid and now looking to take down south korea's finest but korean has been sat there on the sidelines watching the game tom they might not come in warmed up off the back of a series but they've certainly had their eye on what Fnatic want to do Oh, I'm sure. I bet Solo has a notepad absolutely filled with things that came out from the last game. But I, it, the question is, is it going to matter? We, we've got the battle that we were looking for. We've got Fnatic making it through to look to try and battle once again. Everybody wants to try and take down Sentinels. That's the only goal left at this tournament. But only one of them gets to do it. I love this intro so much, man. Bring out the fog. Bring out the players. We're going to get any showmanship out of them today, Tom. That's the question on my mind. It looks like we'll get an answer pretty soon. What is going on here? <laughs> All right. Well, you'll never see me do any of that. I don't have even 1% of that flexibility. But Boaster, he's certainly one for the showmanship. New turn, bringing out a little bit of style in their own entrance. I like it, man. You see energy on both sides of the field. Imagine being the guy who has to go after Boaster each time. <laughs> like the guy who's going to come in rowing on the floor. You're just like, yeah, yeah. And I'm Mystic. Hello. Like, <laughs> how do you even compete with the showmanship of Boaster? Ooh. Well, the Koreans don't necessarily have to do that. They've just got to compete with them within the server. And damn, look at look at the flex. Yeah, with literal flex, right? Big muscles, not even any sleeves can contain those muscles. But will he be able to flex on the server? We even had some finger go coming up but i love it you can tell just from the way that these guys interact with each other the respect they have as competitors and you may bet that between these two teams it's going to be a damn close battle but what might define it is the veto and we come down to things tom talk me through what we're going to expect out of this veto well the first one's no surprise an icebox ban is something i think we can expect from new turn in every single series throughout this tournament i i know that they've had their problems on other maps but they just don't really play icebox the split ban disappoints me a little bit i'll be honest like they floated it in the last map to get haven out of the pool but i think feeling a little bit more comfortable here and who would have thunk it fanatic pick and bind the map that they are still yet to lose on sure they've only played against emea opposition on it Mitch, but it's one of those maps that it's just the comfort pick for them. Ascent, another, which is good for Fnatic. But again, these are good maps for Newton. I think that's the thing we have to look at here is the permabands of each side are gone. We are left within the middle ground. We are left within maps that they are both comfortable within. And more importantly, sure, there's been slip ups here and there, but I think both teams have only really had those major issues, either testing new comps or facing Sentinels. So Bind's gonna be our first map up, as you said. These, this team of Fnatic, they don't lose on this map. And we're talking about the full five man. Even if we're only going by core three, you go to the old lineup, they were always dominant and innovating when it came down to Bind. This is the staple of Fnatic's play and a tough battleground for New Turn to take it in the first especially when you look at how things have gone for them most recently the battle they had in the upper bracket against sentinels here in masters yes they beat sharks initially but that sentinels game tom it did not look too good from new turn yeah for sure i, I think they definitely struggled within that but I, again, I, I want to point out that everybody has struggled against Sentinels in this tournament. So mm -hmm. although it definitely wasn't the performance they were looking for, prior to that, they had won that map 11 times in a row, including beating Vision Strikers multiple times and absolutely destroying Sharks in the early stages of this tournament. Now, sure, th this is a map that we know Fnatic are going to thrive on. There's no question there. They're after plant meta that you almost think that they created in many ways. But I do want to point out, again, some of the, the individuals on the other side of things players that you almost have to watch when going into this map and again i'm always going to point out solo like i don't think he's necessarily the star performer the top fragger but the way that he uses his utility specifically on bind just makes things so awkward for players i think especially when we get onto that b site and his combinations with suggest are always going to be something that we want to watch within this map so sure the after plants from Fnatic, the retakes are going to be very good but just keep an eye on solo and how he is playing that breach utility it's a really interesting point that you brought up as well about Fnatic and how they've only played this against EMEA opponents because it's almost the same for Newturn.